Mr. Roger Schmidt, good afternoon. I'm Sarah Oliveira from BTV. After a very demanding game against Marseille, how is the team and what are your, your expectations for this match against France? Yeah, of course, uh, we all were very disappointed after the match on uh, Thursday night uh, because, of course, it was a big goal to go through, to go to semi-final um, because we had the feeling also to, to do something special in the Europa Cup um, this season. But at the end, football is like it is, so we have to accept that we lost in penalty shootout. And then, of course, the players um, and we all, we need one, two days to, to um, deal with it. And then, but then it's also our task to, to look forward. And um, I think um, to play tomorrow is good for us because we have the chance to, um, yeah, to show also our attitude uh, on the pitch. This is for me the, the most important thing is to, yeah, to, to accept uh, the, the score from Thursday and now to focus again and to play good football and uh, to finish the season in the league on, on top level. So this is our, our goal now um, and my feeling today was already that the players um, are back with their focus and now um, yeah, we, we go to Farenza tomorrow and then we play a good game. Boa tarde, Mister. Vou fazer a pergunta em português, em direto para a Sport TV+. Está a sete pontos neste momento do Sporting, a cinco jornadas do fim do campeonato. Um, ainda é possível, matematicamente, mas é muito difícil para o Benfica nesta altura. Pergunto-lhe, caso o Benfica não vença o campeonato, já sabe o que é que irá fazer, termina contrato em 2026, pode garantir aos benfiquistas que vai continuar ao comando das águias na próxima temporada. Obrigada. Um, yeah, like you said, so of course, um, most likely we will not become champion this season, but of course we will not give up. So I think the advantage is very clear on the side of, um, of sporting. So they are playing a very um, consistent uh, season and they got already a lot of points. Um, we lost some points um, during the season and that's why they are right now seven points uh, ahead. And of course, when there are only five matches to play, um, they have a big advantage, but uh, it means not that it's already decided. So, of course, we have to do um, our, our job. We have to focus on ourselves. We have to get as many points, at best uh, 15 points in these five matches. And then we, we will see if, it's, if there's any chance for us to, um, to come back in this uh, competition to, to, to win the, the championship. So this is one situation and yeah, the, the other topic, I think I already said um, uh, when, I, when I signed a new contract here that I'm, um, I'm looking forward to it, to, to, um, yeah, to do my job here as good as I can. So this is all what I always do. And I know um, also the expectations at Benfica that um, yeah, the, it's a very demanding club, so we want to win prizes. And I think we played also this season um, to, to, yeah, to win prizes, as many as we can. And, and if you see the, the story of this season, I think uh, um, how we lost also decisive games in the three cup competitions. So it started with the, with the League Cup and also with the Tassa de Portugal and also now in the uh, quarterfinal of Europa League. Of course, we are very disappointed about um, the defeats uh, in semi-final uh, of two cup competition and also in quarter-final. Um, but of course, as a coach, I also have to see um, how, we, how we behaved, how we played, how was our motivation, how was the, the condition of the team. And uh, in my opinion, in all the matches, we played um, good football and we showed a good attitude. We showed um, good tactic, we showed um, that we can create chances and if you see a little bit this season, the story of this season is also that we put a lot of effort always in these games but at the end uh, we, we lost games because we were not efficient enough. So I think we always had moments where we could, uh, where we could win these games, where we could um, use our opportunities to, to, uh, to decide the games and this is something we, we missed this season and maybe it's also decisive that we could not win more, uh, more prizes than the, the Super, Super Cup uh, at, the, at the beginning of the season. But if I see the overall pictures, how we, how we played football, uh, then of course I think um, it was, was a good performance without, with, uh, without um, the decisive things maybe in, in very um, close uh, games. And um, for me it's important that 
I see a team on the pitch who's playing good football, he's, who is in a good condition, who has a good spirit, who is developing, and that we still have potential to develop, I think is very clear. And I think, if I see by all the disappointment that we haven't won um, uh, more prizes in the cup competition, I see a development. I see development of players, I see development of very young players from the youth academy. So we always play with three, four or five players from the youth academy. So I think there's a lot of potential in the team and I'm, I really like to be uh, the coach of this team. And I think with this experience we got this season by all the yeah, disappointment, I think uh, the perspective of the, of the team um, is, is very good and now it's on us also to make the right decisions. Uh, regarding um, next season to prepare us and then to, to go for, uh, for, for the, the prices. And in my opinion, sometimes in football it is like, like that. You have to get also sometimes the disappointment um, of, of, uh, of moments in football to grow. You can grow by, by winning titles like last season. We became champion in the first year that we built at the moment a completely or we already built a completely new team. I think there are four players still there um, um, since the uh, since I since we arrived uh, here uh, at Benfica, so it's a completely new team at that you are uh, consistently winning all the prizes in this uh, in this phase when you are building up a new team. I think um, was possible. It's not that it's not possible, but sometimes yeah, small details were missing. Um, but nevertheless, I think that the trend and also the uh, the perspective of the team um, is very good. I think I said everything about that. Yeah. Mr. Miguel Azevedo para o Jornal do Jogo. Boa tarde. Um, esta época o Benfica fez algumas boas exibições, talvez as mais recentes tenham sido diante do Sporting, uh, mas mostrou alguma irregularidade ao longo da época. Eu pergunto-lhe o que é que acha que aconteceu com este plantel para não ter conseguido ser mais regular, não ter conseguido manter o um nível tão elevado como aconteceu, por exemplo, a época passada? Yeah, I think I already talked a little bit about the cup competition, what we missed in these games. So, um, but you can also um, talk about the, the the championship. I think uh, if you see that we lost um, four points at home against Farense and Casapia, I think um, these games also is a little bit are a little bit a good example for for the, for this season. Huh? I think these games we we have to win. Clearly, three, four, five, zero. At the end, we draw both matches, one, one. And at the moment, if you see that Sporting is four point, uh, seven points ahead, I think with these four points, it would be a different uh, situation. And this is a little bit what I said before that um, to uh, to decide matches, especially in in Portugal in this league, especially when Sporting is playing a co very consistent uh, um, championship um, like this season are very important. If you lose these points, it's very difficult to become champion. And this is something um, I have to um, consider and uh, we have to do better. And of course, we try always to to develop the players also and to create as many chances as uh, possible. But uh, at the moment, um, and I think we create the most chances in the league. So I think if you see the, the statistics, then um, I think we are the team with the most clear chances uh, in over, all the, uh, over all the season, but we haven't scored the most goals. Huh? So this is, some, is, a, is a fact and now it's on us also to to make the right conclusions at the end of the season and then to prepare us for, for a new season. And, I think this is um, the, the logical um, conclusion for us and also the, the only conclusion um, to, to do things better and to improve. É sobre o mesmo assunto, uh, em português, por favor. Uh, sobre, o mesmo, sobre o mesmo assunto. O Benfica ganhou muitos jogos com, com Di Maria em campo, fez golos uh, e a sua qualidade individual, por vezes, decidiu. Mas a qualidade coletiva da equipa não cai quando, quando o jogador está a jogar. Eu posso lhe dar alguns exemplos, jogos com o Vizela, com o Moreirense recentemente, também com o Estoril, foram boas exibições também do, do Benfica, quando o Di Maria não, não fez parte do 11 inicial. Não acha que a qualidade coletiva da equipa cai com o jogador em campo, apesar de ele depois dar, poder resolver alguns jogos? 
Yeah, first of all, it's good that we can also win uh, games without uh, Angel or without uh, other key players like Rafa, for example. But nevertheless, they are decisive players for us. Look to the statistics. These are the players who scored the most goals, who gave the most assists and who are involved in a lot of um, um, attacking moments where we are creating big chances. So I have uh, no doubts about the performance of uh, Angel this season. So he's playing a, a top season, in my opinion. Very consistently, he's fit, he plays a lot of games, no injuries, so I think it's one of the seasons where he played probably the most uh, in his, uh, in his uh, long career. So I think uh, both is right, in my opinion. You are right, we played some games also with other players and we scored also their uh, goals. Um, but it's not because Di Maria was not on the pitch, it is because also the other players, they have uh, quality. But of course, all the teams, um, they, they also depend on, um, on quality players, so, so of individual quality of players. And then Angel, with his technical skills, with his um, decision-making under pressure, with his quality in, in crosses, in, in, um, in key passes, uh, he's an outstanding, outstanding player, not only this season at Benfica, already the whole career. So I think um, I'm very happy with his uh, performance um, and uh, that's why I see both positive. So both uh, um, topics you, you talked about, I think, um, are, are good for us. Bom dia, ministro. Vou fazer a pergunta em português. Tem-se falado muito na possível continuidade, como já fizeram aqui as perguntas, e sur recentemente surgiu que Lothar Matthaus, uma das grandes estrelas, lendas do futebol alemão, o aponta como um dos possíveis sucessores ou uma das preferências para suceder ao comando técnico do, do Bayern Munique. Suponho que, vindo de uma pessoa como essa, deverá ser um motivo de orgulho para si, mas o que eu lhe pergunto é se seria um objetivo treinar o Bayern Munique no sentido de, se fosse já, poder voltar a casa, treinar um clube desta dimensão, seria um objetivo uh, para si continuar e fazer carreira também no Bayern Munique? Yeah, for me, it's a great pride to be coach of Benfica. So this is a great pride. Um, and I think I already said everything when I signed a new contract. You know, if you look to my uh, career, so when I make a decision for a club, it's a decision. It's not like um, a few months later I make a new decision. Uh, so I think I know exactly what I did when I signed a new contract here at Benfica. So and um, I try uh, my best, like I said, with all the all, with all the people here at Benfica, with our president, with uh, with our sports director, with all the people here in uh, in Seychelles, with the players, and we know how demanding it is. Um, it's not easy to be uh, to be um, part of Benfica. It's beautiful to be part of Benfica, but it's also very uh, demanding. So we all know that. You know that uh, uh, also in this in which situation we have to uh, perform and. So I think um, to do it in a successful way, you yeah, you have to improve, you have to develop, you have to be focused, but you also have to have the, the confidence, and that's what we what we have. <laughs>